Okay, so it's Sunday, June 20th, 2021, Father's Day. And I'm gonna do a quick video here on the road that we're putting in for um, Jenna and I's uh, uh, property over here. We're cutting, having a road cut in. Uh, uh, we're gonna make a loop, and then off of that, we're going to have a little camper pad. So anyway, I'm do a quick video here just to kind of show you what's what's up with that and what it looks like now so we can see the difference uh, right here we're looking at a drainage here that has to have a culvert um, it's actually fairly deep i don't know if you can see that here from the camera um, it's pretty deep um, and they're gonna take some fill from dad's uh, and linda's pad up there and they're gonna pull some dirt from up there to make it bigger and then fill this and put a culvert right here and run straight across and if you can see in the video the ribbon i've got some ribbon on both sides there uh, marking the uh, route that it's going to take but I'll, I'll do my best to walk it it's kind of brushy so i'll do my best to walk it uh, i think this tree is going to come out because it'll be right at the edge of the bridge and we're pulling campers across we don't want to deal with that so i'm going to walk around it here because it's hard to cross right there um, comes right from the road across over there if you can see that and comes right through here through this massive brush patch which I'll just forge my way through and to the right of that left of that tree right of this tree it's gonna be hard for you to see. I'm just gonna walk it. Okay. So, comes right through here. Straight through here. Uh, we're looking at kind of an area that Jenna and I hope someday to even put a cabin if we ever decide to actually do that. But, that's up the road. The All right, so here we are kind of out on the loop. Um, super beautiful area. I'm sure a little hard to imagine with the, on the video right now. Um, it's just through brush and trees, but you might see the ribbons. Uh, hopefully you can see them on the camera straight ahead of me. Uh, that's the road. Um, that's the right-hand side of it. Kind of to the left here is the left-hand side of it. I'll kind of scoot uh, maybe below i don't know maybe i'll go above this tree um and keep going i'll just keep walking the loop here i think it's going to be an absolutely beautiful loop it's just a tangled mess right now of down trees and brush but we're right on on route that Jenna and I walked off and we're getting close to the far end of the loop now I'm right on it okay so here's the far end of the loop we want to stay away from this beautiful uh, birch right here 
super nice tree. Um, so we want to stay a little bit back from it. But loop right here. And we're going to loop right between these two uh, mountain maples. Uh, right there and right here. So we'll go between them, but I don't, I, I don't think there's enough width there for both of them to stay. I'm guessing they're going to have to take out one. Uh, probably this one on the left. Um, but pretty much right between where they're, stand they're standing. And I'll walk right through them here. Yep, these little trees will have to come out, unfortunately, but they're just well. There's a lot of new start trees around here, so um, hopefully we're in good shape. So now we're past that spot. I'll go through this group of uh, uh, bushes here. Cianothus, um, it's pretty tall, so it's, it's bushwhack to get through all this stuff. But you can see that birch up there on the right. We're going to go just to the left of it and and uh, up against that. There's some dead, uh, I think those are ponderosas that are dead. We'll be just to the right of those. Anyway, heading through the bushes here. A little easier traveling here. There's a ribbon, and I think I've got a ribbon over there. There's a ribbon on that side. Still traveling just to the left of this birch, another nice birch. Um, we want to leave that, of course. And pretty nice traveling right in this section. We'll go right here through this patch. Kind of start to almost start to veer left through here to complete the loop. Um, yeah, close. <clears throat> so right through here, right past that tree, and right straight ahead of the camera here is where we started the loop um, you know 50 100 feet or something down there um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna walk that in a couple minutes here because um, off the loop at this point we are going to um, continue up this direction so basically if you're coming in this way be left of the main loop and we're going to cut a road in up here for our future um, camper pad site. It's going to go right directly where I'm walking. That dead tree in front of me has got to come out. There's a chance this one's going to come out just to make room for the road. Um, but it'll come right up here. And I won't walk all the way up there at the moment. But pretty much right here stand up on this dead tree so pretty much what you're looking at is where our our uh, camper and carport will be it's actually a be really beautiful spot it's so brushed in right now when you're standing down the brush you can't see anything but you get up above it super pretty um, nice view of the, of the ridge behind us although you can't see it from where the camper is going to sit a little too close to the trees but uh, but turning around we'll have this little group of trees that I'm standing next to. We'll be back from them a little ways. Uh, we were going to do it right up here close, but I'm a little afraid of uh, wind storms blowing those trees down. There's so many uh, broken off dead trees around here. You're looking at two of them in the camera right now. Um, another one there, another one there. So we know that's kind of the pattern here, so we want to be back away from these but yet we don't want to cut them uh, because we want the wind block and um, we're pretty exposed up here when the wind gets going crazy or the storms come in so we want to keep those trees if we can uh, i'll probably end up planting some more in here just for windbreak in the future but uh, essentially this is our spot beautiful view uh, hopefully you can see in the distance there with the camera um, gun sight peak 
and then to the left there's a kind of a cool little peak that it's unnamed it's what we see mainly from camp uh, you can kind of see it from all over our camp uh, or our property um, today I decided that if that's gunsight peak that should be trigger peak uh, just farther back on the rifle so I don't know if it'll stick but as of today that's trigger peak unofficially um, so anyway we'll see if that sticks up the road but okay I'm back down on to the loop I was walking I'll continue on out to where we started This camera above the bushes. I'm down in the bushes, but I'm trying to hold it up above a little bit. And you can see my flags here. I've marked it. You can see two on the right and one on the left, I hope, in the camera. This is the road. This is where it's going to be. All these bushes will be gone. Those broken off dead trees will be gone. Um, and I think it's going to be a Really nice, beautiful loop. Um, of course, easier to walk than now, and uh, it'll it'll allow us to access and use the property a lot easier. Um, it's pretty much inaccessible right now. You just tromping through bushes, and a lot of it's high, and everyone's worried about ticks this time of year because there's quite a few ticks up here. Uh, but. Here we come, back out to the loop, into the loop. There's Max watching us. And boom, we're right back to where the culvert will be. And uh, where you can get back out onto uh, Doug and Heidi's property and Dad's. Um, this is right at the border right here. Um, this is the border of the two. 10 acre pieces and I'll just walk back out to where I started just across the drainage here um, that's pretty much it I'll maybe just real quickly show on the camera here this is dad and Linda's pad uh, I don't know if you can see them in the video but there's some flags uh, when they come in to do the road for our property they're gonna they're gonna open this back up all the way those flags take out a couple trees, make a little bigger space because they want to put a little tiny home in there um, and it's a little bit small for that so they're going to open that up and then again use that dirt to help fill the drainage here uh, where they're putting the culvert so again, this is a panorama, that's the current status of the new property that Jenna and I and dad uh, bought so we're excited we're super excited and we're hoping in the next two weeks that road will get cut in uh, originally they were planning for middle of june it's now june 20th and now they're telling us they hope to get here by early july so we don't know if they'll make it that early or not there's no real stress or pressure from our end other than we're just excited to see it done